You'll often find yourself starting off from a place you don't particularly want to start off with. For example, this skirt here is not decent geometry at all. I'll press Shift W to show you what that is. And it's not the shape I'd like or anything like that. So I'm going to delete some of it just to try and simplify my life. So Control Shift and Alt will highlight a selection and delete it. This gets rid of all those bends that are in awkward places. I can then delete the hidden. That's under the Geometry tab, Modify Topology, Delete Hidden. Once that's done, if I go to Ziri Mesh and I decide I want to Ziri Mesh this, I can just hit Ziri Mesher and get much lower resolution, but you'll see that I still have a very jaggy end to this. So that's not what I want to do. In this instance, I want to instead go up to Edge Loops, and this is the tip, uh, and go to Group Loops, set your G Polish to 100, hit Group Loops, you'll get a much smoother edge. So the next time you go down to Ziri Mesher and hit that Ziri Mesher, you'll see that you get a much better result. From here, it's much easier to just Control Shift Alt again to hide the loops that you don't like, delete hidden, and then from there, you now have a clean surface to, to work from. If you then go to the Z Modeler brush, hover over an edge, and decide you want to transpose the entire edge loop complete, you can grab that edge, grab your transform, center it on that, move it down, you have a much cleaner brush. And now we can insert, we go back to our, our tool and change the insert mode, we can insert edges as we see fit. And we now have a much cleaner result to start from. Smooth that down with the smooth brush and we're done. So feel free to subscribe for more tips. Hope this helps. Bye.